Este es su noticiero Univisión, edición nocturna. My name is Alexa. I'm going to be interviewing Mrs. Pino. What's your first, my, your full name? My full name is Paola Pino Diaz. Where are you born? I was born in a small city called Huancayo in Peru. Country or your parents from? Both of them, they are from Peru. What type of food did you eat growing up? My favorite food is ceviche, papa la huancaina, um, lomo saltado. What is the weather like in your country? In Peru, since it's a country that is under the equatorial line, it's the weather right now is different. So if here we are in fall, in Peru is spring. When here is summer, in Peru it's gonna be winter. It switches. What are some things you miss about your country? My family. Oh, thank you. What's your favorite place in your country? One of the favorites for every Peruvian is Machu Picchu, which is in Cusco. Oh, is that a fair? No, Machu Picchu is an ancient Inca city. It's humongous, it's mm -hmm. big. Is it like, like old buildings and stuff like that? It's or? not old buildings, it's... Was it like just the... the the kind water. of like the Mayas that they yeah. have these kind of pyramids, but mm -hmm. this is a whole city that was built on top of a mountain. Oh. So you gotta go to Cusco. From Cusco, you take a train, and from the train, you gotta, you, you gotta, you, there is a stop and there is a car that is gonna take you all the way to the top of the mountain. You will see Machu Picchu. Machu Picchu. Okay. Not unlike Machu Picchu. Well, I present to you Machu Picchu. This complex was made by the Incas, as we noted, and can be found on a mountainside in Peru, which explains why many people never found it, including some conquering armies like the Conquistadors, which is actually rather impressive given that this site is 126 square miles in area. That's very big, and yet it wasn't rediscovered until 1911. As for who went and found it again, that would be due to an American named Hiram Bingham, who, according to sources, went to the country, then traveled by mule and foot to reach this place. But get this, the locals only called it a retreat that native leaders went to, likely meaning that they didn't know what they had stumbled upon. Can you imagine that? Going to a place and calling it a retreat, not knowing that you were literally in the annals of history? Yeah, that'd be a shock. Go. Thank you for letting me interview you. Este es su noticiero Univisión, edición nocturna.